Hi, my name is Shin Kaigen, and this is a guide on what stutter stepping is and how to do it. This is a very important skill to learn, especially at higher levels of play because it allows you to not only reposition yourself while attacking the enemy, it also increases your attack speed as well. So let's get to it. Alright, so this next part might seem a little bit like a school lecture, but I want to explain in detail what a basic attack is so everyone is on the same page. So if you look over there, you see that a basic attack is consisted of three parts. First is the windup, it's the area that's highlighted in green. This is the animation the character goes through right before an attack. If you could imagine what a person in real life goes through to fire a gun, in this case it's the action of raising the gun and pointing it at the target. That is basically what the windup is. Then comes the attack. It's the part that's highlighted in yellow. This is the part when the attack is executed, and like in our previous example, it'll be the moment that the bullet is fired from the gun. This is where the enemy is damaged by the basic uh, attack. Now, the last portion is the wind down. This is shown in red, and this is the most important one. Uh, this is the animation the character goes through after the attack is performed. In our example, it would be the motion of lowering the gun back and putting it into your holster. Keep in mind that the wind up and wind down animation vary from character to character and are not necessarily equal as shown in this chart. Now note, you can cancel any part of a basic attack by issuing a move command. The character will interrupt whatever animation they are currently in the middle of and move to the selected area. So why do you ask that this is important? because this is essentially the foundation of stutter stepping. So, if you look at a picture of a stutter stepped attack, you can see that the wind down portion of the attack is now cancelled by the move command, which is represented in blue. The animation from start to finish is shorter now thanks to the animation cancel, and as you can see, it allows you to fit in more attacks in the same period of time. You also have the benefit of moving in between each attack. So. This is uh, kind of an exaggerated uh, example. You're not going to get a 50% increase uh, in attack speed, but the principle is still the same. If you see, when I use my basic attacks, I can only fit in 6 attacks in the same period of time. However, when I do the stutter step, now I can fit in 9 attacks in the same pe pe period of time. So. Uh, the benefits to stutter stepping are both that it allows you to move in between your auto attacks and increase your attack speed. Now, as proof of concept, observe this side by side comparison. In both instances, I was the same level and I took on the minion miner at the same time with the same items. Yet, the one on the left where I was stutter stepping finished a few seconds earlier than the one without. And this is even with less than optimal stutter stepping. So, how do you do it? There are three easy steps. First, tap on the target you want to attack. Second, tap on the direction you want to move. And then lastly, repeat steps one and two. That's it! So, here I am giving you two perspectives so you can see what stutter stepping actually looks like, both in-game and out of game. You can see that I'm using two fingers and quickly tapping between uh, the target that I want to hit, followed by tapping on the spot I want to move towards. This is the basic motion that allows me to walk in fire at the same time. It takes some getting used to, but just keep practicing until you get it down to muscle memory. If you are new to stutter stepping, I would recommend practicing with saw. When saws at 12 stacks of spin up, it becomes really easy to stutter step. Just basically tap as fast as you can. Once you get the hang of this, try it on other char characters like Pedal or Adagio. Now, if you take a look at the in-game footage, you can see how useful it is. I am both attacking faster than I normally would, and I'm capable of moving forward and backward as needed. Mastery of this technique will allow you to kite your enemies better and get in a few extra basic attacks that you might not have been able to. Now here's a little warning. If you tap too fast, you might cancel your attack and actually prevent yourself from attacking. This is especially true at lower attack speeds. You can see it in this clip, pedal stops before the attack, but since I tap away too fast, the attack never comes. This is because instead of canceling the attack during the wind down, you are now canceling the attack in the wind up. While this technique is most obvious on ranged characters, it's still a very important skill to use on melees. This is particularly important when chasing down enemies. 
You can see in this video when you chase a target without stutter stepping, your character tends to fall behind the target. However, with stutter stepping, you can keep up with your opponent and attack him for much longer and keep him in range for your other skills. Anyway, that concludes my tutorial on stutter stepping. I hope it's helped some of you guys out there. Remember that it might take some time to get good with stutter stepping, but I assure you that if you just keep trying to practice, that it will become second nature in no time. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and put a comment down be below. Also, if you want to see me play live, you can catch me at twitch.tv slash shinkaigen. You can also see the link right on screen. If you have any other videos you want to see in, in the future, uh, please let me know and put it in the comment section as well, because I want to make a series of videos that helps out new players to vainglory. Anyway, th thanks for watching. <laughs>